lessons that we get from Roman history is these very strong military leaders who translate that military power into governing. I thought this one was so well done, presented just beautifully. It feels uh, sophisticated and, and cinematic, but also really sort of easy to listen to. You don't feel like you're being lectured about history or civics, um, but you're getting an earful. And I think that is great. It feels like uh, it could be a powerful tool for learning uh, and education, but also really entertaining. Um, it doesn't require a lot of dramatization, but we're also treated to some great visuals. I thought the animation was just uh, perfectly suited to uh, you know what was being told. Really, all in all, just a strong piece. I could watch all sorts of uh, pieces done in this manner. Fantastic work. I really liked American Cincinnatus. It was a great sort of historical documentary with animation and live action and also the visuals of the statues. All of those put together really kept me more interested because I'm not really somebody who likes to watch his history um, videos. Um, but I, I could actually see this being in a class, a history class, and being something I would actually be interested in watching because the visuals were, were very well done and I really liked the animated visuals with the color and the effect of the reflection of the sun on the so blades of the swords which I thought was really neat and it kind of was a focal point uh, in the animation. Uh, I just thought it was a really cool take on something in history that I had never really um, heard before. You know, a different take on comparing um, these leaders and really well done and I can see definitely see more of these being done and put into history classes so keep up the good work. I thought this was really interesting um obviously I grew up in America and you know we're all taught about the revolution and George Washington and the first president and kind of everything that went into the Declaration of Independence writing the constitution how much was kind of being formed during that time and that they really were trying to figure out a way to break away that the entire idea was breaking away from the the monarch and the the worries that you had with having a president and this concept of giving up power and you know this concept of trying to truly have something different and so seeing it in this light and seeing all the this other information that in the, the in roman times which is i think even in some ways even harder to imagine even harder to fathom that somebody would willingly give up power that they would come out do their duty do what was needed of them and then when it was done that they would just say i've completed what you asked me to do like i'm i'm done i'm going back to my farm and so I thought that was really interesting because um, I hadn't personally heard of Cincinnati before. So getting to hear all of these different points of view and all of these different kind of parallels between the two was really um, fascinating for me. And then also I loved that it was it wasn't just the interviews with these different like historians and people. It was also like statues of, you know, George Washington of these different kind of moments and then as well as animation they had so much going on visually um that was really interesting where there was some like animation kind of recreations and then some just statues to show the kind of grandeur and presence and importance that you know that they had for for the the government for free governing and things like that um, so I thought it was really interesting. This was such a cool film. I'm a little ashamed to say that I didn't know who Cincinnatus was, and I didn't know that they were calling Washington the Cincinnatus of the West, but I'm glad that I learned about this, and I love the style of animation that they decided to use. They picked a really cool balance between animation and, and interviews, and I loved what they did with the animation and how they added some highlights to it in different areas. I thought that that was really, really wild. The edit that they did was perfect. It kept it moving along at a great pace, 
you never got bored, you, your mind never wandered, you were really intrigued about what everybody had to say about this. It was very educational. So it was a great film. Um, I love this. <laughs> it's amazing. I've never seen anything like this before where they've got live action interviews about history and then animations of history um, and just tying it into like Roman farmers and like, I just, I just loved this. I learned so much I, I didn't know about. Um, I'm floored by it. I, I thought the, the concept was fantastic. The um, actual like shape of the film was fantastic. The, uh, the direction was great. The writing was great. Obviously the questions asked of the interviewers was fantastic because they gave some really incredible information. The animation is gorgeous, gorgeous. And the music is spectacular. I mean, all in all, a fantastic film. Thank you for making it. Congratulations, it's wonderful. It's a fascinating little short film. It's kind of a, it's not kind of, it's a history lesson uh, with a little bit of animation and some uh, experts. I think there was like a, um, a judge, a teacher, a historian, um, but it was basically about George Washington and, and, and uh, how he was very similar to uh, Cincinnatus, who was a famous Roman farmer who came in and saved Rome and then went back to his farm, uh, which is basically what George Washington did. He gave up power. A uh, very timely film. Um, uh, felt a little bit like a PSA for uh, one of the political parties, but uh, it didn't veer too far into that. I thought it was uh, very clear and well done, and it's, a, uh, it's an appropriate honor to uh, a great man. Did a lot for this country. Cheers. They, I think this film has excellent quality research done. They also use great audio and image composition with the close-ups of this statue. This is a particular and um, quite interesting or original a statue. The music also and the drawings or animations they are using to showcase USA history and the allocation of power in the president after overthrowing the monarchy. It's like a big historical piece and they also talk about Rome, the ancient Roman Empire and that this particular person, Cincinnatus, um, showcase their loyalty to the virtue of the Republic and they are comparing this to Washington handing off his sword, uh, relinquishing power back to where it belonged and it just surprises me or amazes me how the film focuses on these the incredible actions like they this was just so unthink of like why would someone relinquish power it's just it amazes me that this is a focus point. So I appreciate that. And it's just like, it was surprising to me uh, from the testimonials how this was not a commonality or that's why it was so amazing that Washington did that. But uh, I think it was great production. I totally enjoyed it. I learned a lot. And it is just an amazing job.